Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Master Corporal Deborah Graff. And I'm Shelley Van Hoof. Here are the headlines at Defense. The month of October marks the 17th anniversary of Canada's Healthy Workplace Month. This initiative provides resources, ideas, and solutions to support physically and psychologically healthy and safe workplaces. Throughout the month, Defence Team members are invited to engage in activities and practices that promote a healthy mind, body, and work environment. We encourage you to stop and take note of your own mental health and well-being. The Mental Health Continuum is a useful tool for all Defence Team members in this respect. We also encourage you to get active, healthy mind, healthy body, and participate in activities that promote a healthy and respectful work environment with your colleagues and teams. Ensuring that the entire defense team has the care, services, and support it requires is central to attracting and retaining the people we need to keep Canada strong at home, secure in North America, and engaged in the world. Approximately 270 CAF members recently participated in a major air disaster exercise in Yellowknife as part of Operation Nanook. During the exercise, CAF members worked alongside other government departments, non-governmental organizations, and private companies to exercise a coordinated response to a major air disaster in the north, two CC-130 Hercules, one CH-146 Griffin, and one CH-149 Comorant aircraft were assigned to the exercise. As part of the scenario, search and rescue technicians and health services personnel conducted a number of training activities. These included triage prioritization of survivors for treatment and evacuation, as well as stabilization, medical treatment, and preparation for onward movement. Before we go, the first Defence Team Career Networking Fair is coming up on October 17th in Ottawa, as well as in several regional locations, including Petawawa, Esquimalt, Halifax, Kingston, Montreal, Gagetown, and Edmonton. Open to all military and civilian Defence Team members, this nationwide event is also going to be available online through a virtual platform. For more information, visit the related links. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. For Defence Team News.